guys. Um, it's me, Pink Star. Yay! Um, this is a response video to the Scorpion Show. I'm sorry, put that in there. Um, this is a response video to the Scorpion Show. They made a video like the other day. Sorry, I'm talking fast because I'm trying to make a really fast video like this in five minutes. Um, like the other day about Erica Baidu's new video window seat, which I love, 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 and I blogged about it and everything on my blog spot blog whatever anywho i wanted to respond i have notes i wanted to respond to it they said a lot of stuff like um that she what made her do the whole naked thing it was bad and all these different things and i mean i personally i liked the video they said that they liked it they just didn't like the fact that she was nude um I guess you have to understand why she did it in order to understand the fact. I mean, it doesn't justify her being nude in front of a whole bunch of kids and stuff. But there are places in the world where people are naked all the time. Like, places in Africa, places in Haiti. There are just places where people are always naked. So, perhaps she was trying to go for, like, a, a wow effect. And look what it's done. Like, everybody's talking about her. She's, like, I mean, a trending topic on Twitter. Group think is what... After she got shot, that's what it, her blood, her purple blood, spelled out. Um, I personally liked the video. I love Erica Baidu, so I'm a little biased. But at the end of the day, I don't think she should have to justify being naked. People were making it seem like, oh my gosh, she's naked if it was somebody. And Mikkel was saying, like, if a pop star like Beyonce or somebody like that had done this. But I think... It depends on how it would have been done, whether Beyonce had did it or Lady Gaga had did a video just like this. I think we all would have said, oh my God, this is so... But they're not that kind of person. They're like more pop, happy, poppy. No, oh my God. You know, like it's a little bit different. Erykah Badu, people like her and Nimi Ari and the Neo Soul era, they're all more soulful. They always have a different type of meaning behind the videos. And I like Telephone. I don't, I don't think anything was wrong with Telephone. I don't know exactly what Indy Irie said about socially wrong or some crap like that. But I just like music. I don't care if the person was naked. I don't care if the person ran around. Whatever. I love Erica Badu. I absolutely love the video. I mean, I didn't even know her butt was that big, first of all. But besides the whole naked part, I had to listen to the song. Before I can understand. Because I'm just like, I was so confused. I see her take off her shirt. And I was just like, I know she ain't going to get naked. Oh my gosh, she got naked. I didn't know what to say. I was just like, oh, she's naked now. It was just crazy. It happened so fast. And then after I read her Twitter and she was saying that it wasn't supposed to be done. Because I was so confused. I saw somebody steal her clothes. And I was just like, oh snap, that guy taking her clothes. But he's in the video. But it turned out the guy wasn't even in the video. It was some dude just taking her clothes. And her coat was a Burberry coat. But I saw the plaid on the inside. Yeah, that tartan plaid, that's that's spotable anywhere. And them flip-flops probably something expensive. That's probably why that guy grabbed them like that. But anyway, I love the video. I don't think it, I like, think a lot of people are supposed to read too, not too much into it, but read into it or whatever. But I think people are just taking it way, way out broader. They're, they're forgetting the message behind it about assassination of people's dreams and things like that. Not... Oh, uh, look at me, I'm naked in front of a whole bunch of kids type of thing. I think it was just taking way too far out what it's supposed to be. I love Erica Badu, like I said. I love every video. She even did another video, didn't you know, and she was kind of naked. She was in like a little pool at the end, and she popped up, and she had a head shave. And I was like, oh my gosh, she shaved her head. But I always love Erica Badu. I like the way she sings, and her voice is nice. And there's a lot of people who keep... Going back to the fact that she got naked. If she hadn't got naked, would people still be saying any of this stuff? Probably not. So maybe it's a good thing she did get naked. Look, people talking about the video. And it's probably going to have more hits than, you never know, telephone. You never know. Because telephone, I think, is up at $5 million or some crap like that. So window seat might get up there, too. They also talked about, oh, that's what I wanted to mention. She inspired a video by this group called... Kim and Matt it's called Lessons Learned they did the exact same thing in Times Square where they stripped off their clothes and they were singing and stuff and I was like oh snap but you have to see the video because that video was just as crazy they was getting naked but and it was Kim
kids around and people covering their kids' eyes and stuff. People are just so ashamed to be naked. I mean, it's just boobs. I mean, everybody's seen boobs before. Even little kids have seen boobs before. It's just a boob. Oh. But anyway, she's inspired. Her video was inspired by that. And then they talked about Eve versus Nicki Minaj, which is not, I don't know. I love both of them. I don't really have much to say about that. I just really wanted to talk about the whole window seat thing. And then they talked about Janet Jackson not having albums for a long time. But I don't care about that either. Um, Yeah. So that ends and concludes my um, my video. Hope you guys watch the video and look at it for what it is. Watch window seat and look at it for what it is. Don't look at it for her being freaking naked. Just... I know it's hard not to pay attention to the nakedness, but just don't pay attention to the nakedness. Listen to the words of the song. Listen to the meaning. And at the end, when she's talking, before she, when she, after she gets shot, after she wakes up, she's, like, saying something about assassination of dreams and things like that. Listen to that part. I mean, that's more significant than her actually being naked. Okay. Bye, guys.